Iran has reduced stockpile of near weapons grade uranium, reveals nuclear watchdog. Iran has reduced its stockpile of near weapons grade uranium since October 2023, according to a confidential report from the International Atomic Weapons Agency IAEA disclosed by CNN on Tuesday. In October 2023, Iran possessed 128.3 kilograms, 282. Nine pounds of uranium enhanced to approximately 60%, the highest level documented by the IAEA. By February, the stockpile had been reduced to 121.5 kilograms, according to the IAEA. In October, Iran possessed 128.3 kilograms, 282, nine pounds of uranium enriched to approximately 60%. By February, the stockpile had been reduced to 121.5 kilograms, mixing with lower-level uranium. To achieve this reduction, Iran mixed 31.8 kilograms of the stockpile with uranium enriched to a much lower level, around 2%. Stockpile reduction, according to a confidential report from the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, Iran has reduced its stockpile of near weapons grade uranium since October 2023. Increase in 20% enriched uranium, despite the reduction in near weapons grade uranium, there has been a steady increase in stocks of uranium enriched to 20%. These stocks grew from 567.1 kilograms in October to 712.2 kilograms. In February, it's important to note that weapons-grade uranium is typically enriched above 90%, while anything above 20% is considered highly enriched. GPOA commitments the report, prepared by IAEA, Director General Rafael Grossi, covers Iran's implementation of its commitments under the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action GPOA. The GPOA is a deal agreed upon by Iran and a group of world powers in 2015 to limit Iran's nuclear activities. The United States withdrew from the GPOA in 2018 under President Donald Trump. Experts emphasize that the reduced stockpile is unlikely to impact the breakout time, which refers to the time needed to produce enough weapons-grade material for a nuclear weapon. Iran maintains that it does not seek to build nuclear weapons. Additionally, the IAEA has raised concerns about Iran's decision to withdraw the designation of several agency inspectors. While formally permitted, this move directly affects the IAEA's ability to conduct effective verification. The situation has been further complicated by Iran's removal of all GPOA-related surveillance and monitoring equipment. These developments occur amidst heightened tensions between Iran and the U.S. due to the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. Iran-backed proxies in the region have targeted American military facilities, and international shipping lanes in the Red Sea have witnessed attacks by Yemen's Houthi rebels, prompting US-led coalition response against the Iran-backed Houthis.